Yesterday I was thinking back to a time in sixth grade when I was 12 years old and I went on my first date with my older girlfriend. Uh, and it was a triple date to be exact with one of my two mates and their two girlfriends as well. Now at this point in my life, I was a very, very insecure kid, an insecure kid on steroids. I wouldn't talk to my girlfriend at school at all. I would say probably one word a week when I needed to because we were school captain together. So it was very awkward. So this was our first date together. We would probably spend half the day together. So I was nervous. Bro. So we get to the, we're, going to, we're going, to, going to the movies. So the date is a movie, right? So the six of us, we're going to see a movie. Now I go with my girlfriend's dad and her. And the whole car ride, we say like one word to each other. It is so awkward, bro, I remember it. And we get to the movie theater, we go and watch the movie. It was a good time, right? We probably said one word to each other the whole time and it's, the movie's done, right? And there's a photo booth near the movie theater, right, when you walk out. Here in Australia, they're like everywhere. I don't know if it's the same over in the US or the UK or wherever you're seeing this video. But my girl and I decide to go and take some photos together. And that is when we have our first kiss. We've had like, you know, kiss on the cheek and shit like that, but it's never been like real physical, right? And bro, I am the happiest 12 year old you will probably ever meet in your life. Because I've never had that connection with a girl like in my life, bro. So my mum comes and picks me up and the whole car ride, I'm just smiling, looking out the window saying, Fuck yeah, we did this. Shit. We did it, because that was my only goal, to be like, you know, to have a really good connection with my girlfriend, and I have just made a massive step to getting that. So I'm the happiest guy on earth, right? I get home and I play PlayStation or Xbox, I can't even remember what I had at the time, uh, with my two friends that we just went to the movies together. And I'm, pro I'm pretty sure they, uh, they achieved their goal of kissing their girlfriend as well. So well, we were all happy, bro. It would have been 2018, so what we were playing, maybe Call of Duty, uh, maybe some NBA, I can't exactly, maybe probably GDA, one of those three. Uh, we sat down and played for the rest of the day. And I was thinking about that last night, bro. That was, I remember not the best day in my life, but it was the happiest, one of the happiest and the most proud of myself that I'd felt in my life, for sure. So I, I remember texting my girlfriend after I, got, after I got home and also while playing video game. And we were just chatting, saying how it was amazing, saying thank you because a pretty funny, a pretty, pretty funny story from that funny story. I told my mum, or I asked my mum, can you please give me $50 so I can pay for my girlfriend, for her food, for her ticket, etc., etc." And I remember telling her that it was my money. So I, I felt like the top dog, right? I could do anything for my girlfriend, but it, was, it wasn't really, it was, it was a lie, it was my mum's money. I think we hop on a FaceTime call later on and I'm actually really confident. I'm being myself because I'm proud of myself for what I've achieved. Yeah. I think about a month or two later, we go on another date. There's just us two. Right. I remember I remember the movie this time. It was called like, I think it was like the Meg or something. It was like the shark movie. It was basically the same as the first encounter. I can't exactly remember that one as much in detail as I do remember the first one. And I look back to those times in my life complete freedom, no responsibility. You could get to do whatever you want when you want. Most kids experience that, right? Some don't, of course, but I was fortunate enough, and you probably are if you're watching this video, to have experienced a life similar to mine, right? You never have to worry about the bills. You never have to worry about, you know, what, what your next meal would be. Yeah, it was always there for you as a child. Yeah, maybe it wasn't, but I'm specifically talking to the people. I'm talking to anyone, really. But I'm talking to people like my younger self, yeah? I do not regret any of that. Yeah, I could have been, uh, I could have been a 12-year-old who was on social media all the time, got exposed to content like Andrew Tate, got exposed to content like whoever you watch, like masculine type of content, always work hard, right? always put first things first, which I, which I definitely agree with, but I do not regret one second of my childhood. None of it. Even though I wasn't the most productive man in the world, yes, I played basketball every single day because I wanted to go to the NBA. But nowadays, I know hustle culture is pushed on to a lot of young kids. And that's why I'm spe 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 can't speak. specifically targeting this video to the younger generation. Like, I mean, the younger, younger generation. If I was you, I know the world's changing and there's a lot more competition now. But if I was you, bro, I would spend your childhood like it's the last years of your life. Maybe when you hit 16, maybe when you hit 15, then you can start worrying about your future. 
but I'm only teaching from my own experience and bro, I truly believe if I was a 12 year old who was worrying about the future so much, high school, what I'm doing after high school and shit like that, I wouldn't have enjoyed my uh, youth to its fullest potential. I probably wouldn't have got with that girl. I probably wouldn't have experienced the things I experienced with her. Yes, it hurt after we broke up because like, you know, I thought we were gonna be together forever and she probably thought that too. But we had our own set of ways to go and we were young so we didn't really understand anything. I'm proud of myself for truly living in the present moment and the reason I am isn't just because it was fun, but because I can look back to those days right now, the days playing PlayStation with the boys, no, no responsibility, you could stay up as late as you wanted as long as your parents didn't set you a bedtime. Right? All, these, all these little small things, bro. If I didn't experience them, I wouldn't have the motivation, I wouldn't have the fuel to work hard to continue to experience these things. I use nostalgia as fuel for my future. I use nostalgia as fuel to make sure these experiences keep happening. Now, I'm not talking about escaping the matrix here. Well, technically I am, but I'm not at the same time because I know success is different for everybody. Success to me is waking up every single morning looking forward to the day and knowing I love what I do while it provides value to the world. And content creation is one way I can get there. So I'm focusing most of my attention on that right now. But success might be different to you, bro. But if you are eight or younger, but I, just, I doubt anyone who's younger even has social media or YouTube, to 15 years old, I wouldn't even focus on your future, bro. I would just live in the moment, of course. Have an idea, and if you really wanna get ahead, get ahead, all right, because I don't want you to waste your youth. I don't. Even if you just work hard half the day, you spend six hours of your time, or let's say two hours of your time plus school, after school, just working hard towards your future. Let's say you want to play in the NFL, the NBA, but you do that. But then you spend the rest of the, the day just doing whatever the fuck you want, right? Of course, having boundaries, of course. I truly believe that's a way to live your youth to your fullest potential because you want to you want to live a life where you work hard like you have 50 years left to live and you play like you have no tomorrow. I truly believe that if you follow those rules of life, you will win the game. There is nothing like youth. There's nothing like the complete freedom you, you have. It just doesn't hit anymore when you hit 18 at least with me. I can, I can try and experience my childhood again, but it doesn't work. It's not the same. You only get one shot at this shit. One shot to succeed and one shot to have fun. Yeah? I want you to do both. I love you, bro. Keep putting that work in every single day, but keep also living in the moment to experience this life that is so amazing to its fullest potential, yeah? Because you only get one. I'll catch you in the next video, my brother. Peace.